Hello and welcome back to Maximum Power Up. I'm Paul. Uh, hopefully by now you've had a chance to have a look at one of the videos I put up the other day, which was looking back at a few magazines from um, well different years um, of the month of January. Uh, looking back at like Mean Machine Sega, Total, uh, Mega Action, so obviously a 16-bit focused. Uh, today I'm just looking at two different magazines because uh, one of them's really really thick. We have got official PlayStation magazine from January 1999, uh, issue 41, and we've also got N64 magazine, that's from January 1998. Um, so again, both issues featuring on what's to come that year, um, like I said before when I did my N64 games collection video, um, the N64 is an earth machine that I had back then, so I wasn't really that up on it. Um, Anyway, I'll uh, stop babbling and actually look at a few of the big stories. Um, N64 magazine was the follow-on from Superplay. Uh, yet again, it gets mentioned in one of my videos. Um, so it featured a lot of the same staff. So here we've got Jonathan Davis, uh, who also did work on Superplay. Uh, got an advert there straight away for Diddy Kong Racing. Um, again, another N64 game that I've never played. Um, but, you know, it gets a lot of love, you know, type thing. I think it just always comes down for me. I look at um, Mario Kart and just think, yeah, that'll do, that's enough. Uh, anyway, you've got the first big feature here. Like I say, this started in 98, so you've got Banjo-Kazooie. Um, like I said in my uh, last video, that is a game I've played, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, highly recommended. I'm sure loads of you have played it by now anyway. Um, and then... <laughs> God, it really is uh, the big hitters because you've also got Zelda Ocarina of Time as well. So, two massive you know, games that are seen as must own games for the N64. Uh, like I say, these are just um, previews. Uh, then we've got another one. So, I must be doing alright in my collection. So, we've got 1080 Snowboarding, which uh, has got a preview for it as well. And then, after that, um, this is one game I've never played, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. Uh, F Zero X. Um, people say it's like the definitive um, F Zero game. Uh, I think Phil's. I'm well, pretty sure Phil's a massive fan of it. I'm sure he's mentioned uh, F Zero when we did our uh, PlayStation episode. Um, but yeah, it, it's something that I should pick up and at least try because I've only got it on my SNES. Um, anyway, um, we've got a little bit of news here uh, on the. Uh, 64 double D uh, add-on um, which again I've never even seen so you know I've not did it come out? I'm just, yeah yeah it's just like you know Japanese only uh, sorry I'm just doubting myself there um, again like uh, Super Play it had a little part for fanzines in the magazine um, something that well I don't know I, I said it was uh, dying out but then um, we got the Hyperplay fanzine which uh, I was really impressed by. Um, also, I'm just going like, to say, whiz through this. We have got um, Mother 3 um, preview because, well, the RPG news, because again, it's gone down the um, route of covering, you know, the um, Japanese games as well, you know, uh, all the import scene, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, speaking of which, a couple of pages here for uh, Japanese. News. I can see now why this magazine was so, uh, you know, well loved um, back in the day. Um, now on to some of the reviews. Um, first review is San Francisco Rush. Never actually played this. Like I said, so many times I'm not a massive fan of racing games, so it's not the type of thing I actually look out for. Eh, got eighty two percent now. Again, like most magazines back then, you know, your graphics, your sound, um, and everything like that, last ability. Um, so yeah, I suppose in the eight two percent's not that bad for it, but it's not the type of thing I'd actually look out for. Um, just like I say, whiz through this one. Um, God, this is a perfect example of some games only coming out in uh, Japan. Sixty four Osumo. Never ever heard of that, but. 90% so a really really good um, good review for that I don't know if any of you guys actually played that you know it looks like it was a import only yeah import only and then next to it was a Wheel of Fortune for some reason that came out on Super Nintendo and I remember 
uh, super play rating at really really low. Yeah, they brought an, uh, yeah, they brought out an N64 version, 17%, not good. So um, even the next generation on, don't seem to have uh, sorted that out. Uh, what else have we got? We've got one of the wrestling games which I've. N Hang on, is this one that I've got in the collection? I'm not going to start looking now. But we've got WCW vs NWO World Tour, giving it 70%. Not amazing, but not terrible either. But when it is a sorry, when it does come to a terrible game, God, I'm tripping over my words. Never played it, but. Mortal Kombat Mythologies, Sub-Zero, 9%. You don't really get many games rated lower than that. Um, pretty sure it's like a scrolling beat-em-up type game, um, but I know it got slagged off so, so much. Then we've got the usual um, adverts here for mail order. N64 up there for 90 quid, so it come down in price really, really quickly. Um, as I say, I'm just going to whiz through this. We have got... Uh, some of the big Japanese news here, uh, a Pikachu game coming out, um, what else, because I'm going to go into the uh, PlayStation in a moment. We've also got news on the uh, Game Boy Pocket Camera, which my brother had, and the uh, printer, obviously he's a good few years younger than me, but I remember him getting that. Um, then there's a guide on, um, what's it called? Um, Donkey Kong, then usual tips and cheats. There's a few reviews in this one, there doesn't seem to be that many, I suppose. All the big games were really uh, reviewed, you know, the month before, coming up towards the uh, Christmas issue. Um, just going to move on quickly to the official PlayStation magazine. Now, this really is thick, it's almost 200 pages, um, showing the uh, 90 style Gillette Mac free razors. Um, Anyway, the demo disc that came with this had the uh, Michael Owens uh, World League Soccer, I think it stood for. Um, and we've got an advert here for Crash Bandicoot 3, back when Crash was uh, well loved and really, really popular. You know, those PS1 Crash games were absolutely fantastic. Uh, so, 1999, the PlayStation Conquers the World. So, we've got Mystical Ninja there, we've got um, some Final Fantasy. Uh, what else is up here? Oh, Goldman, yeah, of course. Uh, we've also got Silent Hill as well. So, quite a few uh, big, well-known uh, well, series there. Uh, what else have we got? There's just absolutely loads. Um, Advert here for Pocket Fighter. Um, something that I'm not really into. More Phil scene, definitely. Um, just quickly get to... Uh, the reviews in the main part of the magazine really. Um, we've got this typical uh, 90s adverts again. This is for oh, Max Power Racing game. There we go. Um, then also gone. Sorry about this. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, interview here with Mike Lowen. Um, Obviously, one of the big selling points because back then he was obviously massive, um, popular. Obviously, not fat or anything. Um, sorry, just babbling. Um, and then we've got uh, da, 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 uh, a game. Well, a platform game. I know it was absolutely loads. I've never actually played it though. It's called Kingsley. Um, I know, you know, there's, there's so many to choose from. Uh, I've, I don't even recall seeing a um, you know a review of it, so I don't know. It's by uh, Psygnosis, so you know, so that's usually a good sign, definitely. Um, and then basically, what we have got here is uh, the big uh, the big part of this magazine is a feature on the platinum titles. Now, obviously, these are absolutely fantastic. You know, if you've got a new console, it's a cheap way to add some games. You can get some really really good games. So here you've got um, Doom. Uh, Die Hard Trilogy, which I think was a fantastic game. Uh, even chose that as one of my favourites when we did our PlayStation episode. We've got Tekken 2, Destruction Derby 2, Odd World. Um, and it's telling you, you know, which games it recommends and things like that. Uh, we've got, it's probably a better told it this way, um, Tomb Raider. Um, the Formula 1 game was quite good. Not really into Formula 1, but, you know, it, it was enjoyable. So you've got Resident Evil there. 
You've got um, Ridge Racer, Soviet Strike's not great. Um, what else? Uh, Time Crisis. So loads and loads of great games to choose from, and like you know, twenty quid each. And I know um, places like uh, Virgin Megastore, HMV, they always did like two to thirty quid. So then you're looking at fifteen quid a piece. You could get a really, really good library, and they came out relatively quick. You know, on the budget labels. Um, Anyway, uh, moving on, uh, this is a game I've never actually played. Uh, Roll Cage is a big preview there of a uh, cover game. Um, and this, yeah, we've put a demo of it on there as well. Um, just move on a little bit. Um, okay, I don't recall playing this, but we have got Sensible Soccer Club Edition. Uh, on the PS1, so I don't know if I actually ever made it to uh, to the shelves. Um, but yeah, no, that's that really, really isn't you know uh, ringing a bell. Um, you have got the Player Manager 1999. Uh, not a fantastic um, you know football management series. The LMA Manager ones were quite good on a PS1 uh, because at the time I didn't have a PC, so I wasn't playing you know Champ Manager. Um, and then, the game most people have played now, uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, preview. Um, got the uh, well, got a massive uh, interview here, so even more stuff on uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I think it was a couple of months later when they did the uh, Metal Gear Solid cover and loads and loads of stuff in the uh, issue. Then, um, oh, what else have we got? Um, oh, it's an RPG, yeah. RPG called Blaze and Blade. I've not actually played that one, um, but I do, you know, like the uh, RPGs definitely. And then um, we've also got a massive um, feature on some of the upcoming games for 1999 on the PlayStation. Um, what else have we got? God Almighty, there's about ten pages. Um, no, nope, there's more than that. <laughs> There's uh, going on to uh, the reviews, so yet again, more my glowing soccer. Christ, they really, really are pushing this. Uh, let's just see what it got rated. Eight out of nine. God, let's start, try again. Uh, eight out of ten, which I suppose isn't that bad. Um, again, with football games, you can take a leave, and, and there seems to be quite a lot back then. I mean, nowadays, it all there is is um, you know. Pez and FIFA, um, and well, saying that, Sociable Soccer hopefully this year, kick off remake hopefully as well, so fingers crossed they uh, turn out well. Uh, Monkey Hero game, a uh, bit of an action RPG type thing, uh, 7 out of 10, um, game I've owned, never really got into that much. Um, this was quite a popular series, went, went on to become a Fight Night, uh, Knockout Kings, that's Knockout Kings 99, 8 out of 10. Um, I know quite a few people obviously want to see the return of uh, Fight Night. It's not something that I've ever really been bothered about boxing games, but you know you can understand uh, that there's a want, you know, for them definitely. Um, anyway, moving on, we have also got um, a game I've played, but I don't recall that much about it. Um, Apocalypse. Um, all I remember is it's got Bruce uh, Bruce Willis. Um, well, his likeness uh, on the cover. Um, what else have we got? See, like I say, it really is a really thick issue. Uh, for a fiver, for a cover disc in a magazine, you uh, you got your money's worth, definitely. Uh, the game, never played it, but I know it was quite rare. Devil Dice, uh, getting 7 out of 10 there. And, yep, then it's just basically your usual cheats and your A to Z. Um, oh, and then, like most magazines, the old uh, special reserve advert as well. So, that's just again another quick look through some uh, magazines from uh, January. Um, again, keep you know watching, I appreciate it, I really, really do. Um, I've, again, now I'm off to uh, start working on our next episode and speak to you soon. Thank you, bye.